hello everyone thank you all for coming to my channel if you're new here don't forget to like comment and subscribe and if you're back again what's up girl my name is ariana marche and we are back with a part two of another divine goddess video of how to stand up for yourself number one learn to say no you have to learn how to gatekeep your own time and energy and not even just that but just learning to say no to things that you're not truly okay with no to things that you truly don't want to do or things that you're not interested in at all it allows people to respect you and know that okay you're not going to just go for anything and if you don't want to do something they can't talk you into it or pure pressure you into anything even if you are truly okay with something and you truly don't mind doing it just learn to say no sometimes because when you're too available and you're too nice and you're too much of a yes man people don't respect you and they feel like they can do things and get away with them because you're always going to be there and you're never going to say anything about it you're always going to be passive and just letting them get away with stuff so the number one thing that you have to do is learn how to say no gatekeep your own time and your own energy and stop over showing up for people that don't do the same for you if you get the smallest inkling that the energy or the love shown anything is not being reciprocated you have to slow yourself down and put yourself at a pace don't overdo anything make sure you give other people the room to show you that same love because that is another thing that can lead to you know people trying you or feeling like they can get away with things so learn how to say no get keep your own energy and don't over show love don't over show up for people that are not going to do the same thing for you it'll save you a lot of time and heartache for the future number two people will walk away that is another thing that you have to learn when standing up for yourself and enforcing those boundaries especially if you are somebody who they've already been able to take advantage of when you finally stand up for yourself you're enforcing your boundaries and you're serious about it the wrong people that really don't have your best interests at heart and benefited only from being able to use you or get away with certain things they are going to have a huge problem with you standing up for yourself and being serious about your boundaries because they've been able to do it so long so all of a sudden it's how dare you want to stand up for yourself how dare you tell me no like how dare you finally come to your senses and realize that i don't have the best interest for you so those are the people that will typically they're not going to understand or they're not going to care at all or I mean, if you're finally saying no now, well, there's no need of me being here no more because those were my only intentions. So now I'm finna dip and get out of your way. So you have to know that not everybody will respect it. And once you do start enforcing those boundaries, some people will walk away and you have to be okay with that. You have to be able to choose like, do I want respect from people or do I want to keep being a people pleaser and keep being ran over, keep being tried? Like, there's so many things you have to be able to choose yourself and be okay with people walking away because everybody's not going to stay. Even if it is the first time and this is somebody that you just met or just whatever the case may be and they try it and you stop it the first time right then and there, even they will walk away and you also have to know that there is no real way to foolproof life or foolproof situations because there's still going to be things that you will run into etc 
people are going to try regardless people are going to walk away regardless as long as you stay true to who you are you're going to be fine but there's no real way to foolproof anything that's what you have to know so many times people are looking for an exact solution for the situation and even with the things that i'm telling you it may not work or be an exact match for your tailored situation so you have to know what will specifically work for you and again there's no real way to foolproof it so you have to be okay with people walking away or whatever the case may be as long as you know who you are what you're willing to accept and not accept that's really all that matters and number three be okay with being alone and being disliked a lot of people who are really strong and set and firm in their boundaries not easy to manipulate uh, people who will say something when people try them or they're being bullied or whatever they're not easy to manipulate they will spend a lot of time alone they may not have very many friends and that's okay you have to be okay with that because again as i said in the second point some people are going to walk away you may have to spend a period of time alone in order for you to find your right crowd for find the right friends find the right man or woman whatever it is that you like you have to know that sometimes you may have to spend a period of time alone because of your boundaries and that's okay you have to have the courage of being disliked because everybody's not going to be for you and it's better to have peace and be alone than to have chaos and have all of the wrong people around you that don't mean you no good at all number four research and read books if you are somebody that don't like to read, I highly advise you, if you can at least sit down and read like an actual book, get into audio books or something. Even you watching this YouTube video right now, you can find other YouTube videos. I mean, there's many books on just human psychologies and things to look out for and even just how to improve yourself on these types of situations. I say all the time, I'm an advocate for journaling, reading, all of that stuff. Never allow yourself to just keep going through something and never gaining the knowledge from it. Whatever knowledge you can get on any subject, go and do that. You can read books on how to improve yourself or how to improve your memory, learning how the brain works, learning how people work, psychology works, and just so many other things. But it's always best to be able to get the game and, you know, up your game on certain things like just like this subject right here, learning how to stand up for yourself. There's many books about that. There's several um, videos on YouTube about that. Like, there's literally no excuse. Anything that you want to learn how to do, you want to get better at, anything i am a graduate of youtube university myself i like to read books myself so just anything that you want to learn baby you better google it you better get on this youtube you better go pick up a book knowledge is power so always be hungry for learning you know what to do in certain situations and again you cannot foolproof everything there's no real way to foolproof life but it's better to still have that knowledge so you at least know and have certain key points on how to navigate through these things so always just be hungry for more knowledge and knowledge is only power when you learn how to apply it but all right y'all that brings me to the end of this video i will see y'all in the next one if you're new here don't forget to like comment and subscribe and if you back in i hope to see you in the next one and don't forget to be sharing these videos all right y'all